Now we're ready for step two of our mask project and we're going to add all the designs to it. We're going to create the face for our mask. First thing I would like you to do is decide where you want your eye line to be. A human eye line is in the middle but it doesn't have to be for these masks. You can put it someplace else. This is just so that you don't end up having everything in one place, you know, every, and having a huge space at the bottom or the top of your mask. Select, I'm going to start with my eyes, so I'm going to come up with a, a shape that I like for the eye, and try to remember to keep those symmetrical, same on both sides. Maybe I'll put this little teardrop in here, kind of like that shape. Now on the other side I have to flip it so that it will match. So I'm just going to do the eyes, maybe I'll, ooh, these look like great eyebrows, kind of give him a, a stern look with that angle. But I only want you to use uh, maybe one unruly ruler because there's lots of shapes in it, and one French curve, and that ought to give you pretty much all you're going to need to get a, a pretty good design. You don't have to try to use everything that I've got in the box. That's not really necessary. He's going to have kind of a fat nose it looks like here. But just use your imagination. Um, you have to find a, the good balance between what is too much and what's too little. You want to make it just right. Okay, so now I've got a pretty good start on an eyes and nose, and I'll find a good shape for my mouth. I think I'm going to use the French curve here too. Maybe I'm good at making frowning, so I'll use half of it on this side and then flip it over and use half of it on the other side. I'm not going to make you watch me do this entire video um, of designs, but this is a, a good start and sometimes it's a good idea if you don't want to color. I thought he looked like he had a Viking hat on up here, so I'm going to do some kind of a design here for his helmet see how that's going to go. Don't draw over top of a design. I would suggest that you use that um, overlapping. That's always a good idea to make that. But here's a pretty good start. And I'm going to divide it. Maybe you need something on his cheeks. Here were some I like this shape here, so I think I'll do one on this side, and then one on this side. Avoid doing a lot of little teeny tiny things, because that um, is hard to paint. And after you get your shapes in there, then the next step will be the fun part, painting. I'm not finished, but this is enough. I hope you can see that. Again. I have a visual for you to look at to check where you're supposed to be. I'm going to outline it with a Sharpie in a little, in a little bit when I finish. And don't forget to check your handout and get your teacher to sign what needs to be signed before you go to step number three.